Hello everyone, welcome back to Tito's Itty Bitty Farm. I am wearing a face mask today because we are going to take down the lima tree. And I have my basket for any um, any of the uh, pods that are still there. So I can put them on there. I'm put, I have on my um, head cover to cover my ears because there's a lot of little um, flies. Okay, flying around in this tree. See? All I have to do is touch it and you see them going everywhere. But we need to cut it down today. And and that's what I'm going to do today with you guys. Okay. Okay. I had to go get a trash bag to put the vines in. Because I want to gather them as I cut them off. And of course, I'm going to plant more because I love them, but I'm going to put them on another bed. Okay. Now, let's start cutting. And like I said, as I cut, I will be collecting whatever is left. Whatever parts that I can find on here. This would be good to make um, compost out of, but I don't have a compost machine yet. I do have um, to order one, and I guess in the future I would be sent, um, keeping uh, these vines because I think they probably would make very good compost. As you can see, it is a lot. I have some additional work I'm going to be doing in the yard when I get back from Georgia. And I will share that with you guys on a later video. By the way, I hope I'm coming out nice and clear because I did dry um, a microphone. So, I'm hoping it's working well, but we'll see. I really don't regret planting this tree and I am going to plant it again like I said on the other um, grow bed on the other side where the um, watermelons were at before that's where I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put more of them there and I'm gonna do that before I leave for Georgia because I don't have to worry about them getting water because we are really in the rainy season. So we're going to get plenty of water. I know this. Look at this. I can turn around and plant these right in the room. I'm wondering if 
if I can just keep these vines in a bag and then when I get my um I bought the compost machine it's just not put together yet maybe I'm gonna work on putting it together today and so I can put the um, these vines in the machine we'll see that's the plan I'm gonna try to do that today Because everybody keeps saying I need to make my own compost, you know, vegetables and stuff, you know, taste better when you make your own compost. So, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to keep them in this bag in the garage and then get the machine together and put all this in there. I was just speaking to a friend of mine who lives in Georgia and she has a farm up there. She's on 11 acres and I am going to visit her and I told her that I want to do a little video to share on, um, on my channel and she told me she would be more than happy to allow me to do that so I can show you guys the stuff that she's growing on that farm she is she has a lot of things growing there I think when I planted them, I planted too many um, seeds, so I'm going to limit how many seeds I put in the ground. Maybe I'll just do two of each because I think I did like three of each. Oh, look at this. Look at this little friend we have here. Look at this. Where is it? Uh-oh. Oh, look. Can I get them off? I hope it fell off because it's going in the bag if it didn't. Oh, it's still there. There you go. 
you go. All right, little man, find yourself somewhere else to sleep. Look at that. It's just sitting there looking at me like, why did you evicted me? Yeah. You'll find another living place, living space. Can I pick that? Yeah, I think I'd hop along, Cassidy. It's still blossoming just a little, but not much of anything. As you can see, most of it looks really looks dead and overproduced. Because normally, from what I read, you get three um, three harvests 
from your lima bean plant and I've gotten four from this one and there were four red harvests. So I think it's had enough. Growing, so now these bees will have some sun and they will grow a little faster. Look at all of these. Hey Willow, you come to help mommy? Hmm? You gonna help mommy out? I guess not. Oh my goodness. I don't know if this is the same one, but look. See that? There's another one. I think they just like my yarn. I had one on the other side yesterday. And today I have two on this side. Must be a family, you know, mom, dad, and child. Come on, child. Off you go. Come on. Come on, you gotta let go. Thank you. Go find another tree somewhere. Apparently, they were living in here. That must have been daddy from yesterday. Maybe daddy went to work on the other tree. And I evicted daddy and now 
I'm a victim, mommy, and child, I guess. <laughs> now, for those of you who have been doing this for many, many years, you know, y'all have fun doing this. I have fun, you know, doing this. Yeah, I don't know why. By the way, remember the caterpillar problem I had with the potato plants over there? I found this thing on Amazon that I'm going to share, and it killed them on, on, on instantly. It killed them instantly. It is really, really, really good. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Once I'm done here, I'm going to show you what I use to kill those caterpillars. I tried it this morning. You can see them falling off the tree. They are falling off the potato plants like nothing. Oh my, this is really tied up in here.
boy alone? Where are you barking at? I'm losing my glasses. The last one. All done. This is all done now. Okay, everyone. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Now, if you remember last time, we had caterpillars, big ones, all over this plant. Look at how they ate one of the leaves from my potato um, plants, okay? So what I did, I went on to Amazon and I looked on there to see, I just typed in what to use to kill caterpillars. And this came up, okay, which is really, and it's, I wanted to specifically say that it kills and controls caterpillars and it kills and controls worms and caterpillars on vegetables fruits okay so which is what I needed for for vegetables and fruits okay and it's made by Captain Jack um, which is um, I sprayed it on there this morning I got it last night and this morning first thing in the morning when I came out I spread it they went all over the place I sprayed it and I watched them fall and die i wish i could find one on the ground that could see anyway i can't see them but anyway 
that just started falling down okay see there isn't any not under the leaves or on the leaves like they were before they were every doggone where this little pest but i got rid of them yes now my potatoes can grow hopefully it didn't damage the potatoes which i am going to add some mulch down here i have a bag of mulch i'm gonna add some down here for protection from the from the sun i did added more dirt um last week so um now i'm just gonna mulch it to make sure that they continue growing nicely i don't know what this is it looks like look at this something's egg probably a spider well let's put it there and step on it there gone anyway all right we'll talk again soon as usual everyone if you like our videos please subscribe like and share have a blessed Sunday afternoon, everyone.